Oh! <laughs> Had to soak the beans overnight. Got a little cold last night. They look like they got a good soak though. Yeah, yeah, they swelled up pretty nice. Yeah, we gotta heat some water because Scotty's beans froze overnight. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cast Iron Culinaries. Uh, it's been a long time since we put a video up. Uh, we did try filming one beginning of this camping season, but the weather was really bad, miserable conditions, and the video just didn't turn out. Uh, this is called Baracho Beans. Uh, a friend of mine from Texas, Cynthia, suggested this video. Uh, I have a pound of bacon, and I just cut it into one inch pieces right there in the package, and then start cooking it up and getting that browned up. It's just about what I wanted, actually. So I'll drain that off, set it aside, and I'm going to cook a pound of ground pork, brown it up. I have a pound of pinto beans that I soaked overnight. And we have a large bell pepper cut into almost half inch chunks. A large white onion diced up. Four cloves of garlic sliced up. Uh, half a gallon of very popular American beer. We're not going to be cooking our beans in water, we're going to be cooking in beer. Hence the name Baracho beans, drunken beans. And then uh, we're going to be adding some canned chilies to them. we got some mild and some hot. But anyway, yeah, just the basic vegetables, green pepper, onion, garlic, pinto beans. Be sure to soak these at least overnight, if not longer. Uh, they'll soften up and they'll cook up a lot quicker and soften up real nice for you. Alright, so our bacon's done there. We're going to get that out of the skillet, brown up our ground pork. Get this browned up. Browned up. We'll season it just a little bit with some salt and pepper. Okay, we've got our uh, ground pork and bacon all cooked up. Threw it in the Dutch oven here, just someplace to put it, keep it aside. I took all my veggies and uh, I poured the juice from the canned chilies right in with everything. And I threw it in the pan here, more so to deglaze my pan to make it easier to clean than anything else. <laughs> but uh, we'll sweat these uh, onions and peppers just a little bit and throw them in with this, throw in the beans, throw in the beer and throw it on the coals. Alright, here's our pork, our bacon, all our veggies. We drained the beans off after soaking them all night. Dump that in there. Then for our liquid, usually you'd use, you know, water or vegetable stock, chicken stock. Uh, this particular recipe calls for beer. So we got our half gallon of beer here, popular American beer. And we'll dump that in there. If need be, we'll add water because just because we're going to need the moisture. I'm not sure how much this is going to. I'm thinking we're probably going to have to add some water. Here's our mix. Half gallon of beer. I added uh, about four cups of water to that too. We're about an inch above the beans with the water. So we'll get the lid on the Dutch oven and we're going to set it on the gas stove here to get it to a boil. And boil it for a few minutes on here. And uh, once we get it to a boil, let it roll a little bit like that. I'm going to try and transfer it over to the fire pit. Uh, we had a raging fire last night and we've got about a foot and a half deep bed of coals. So I'm just going to take the Dutch oven over there and set it right on the coals and let it simmer away on that and see how it does. Baracho beans cooking away. Okay, after a good four hours, four and a half hours of simmering, our baracho beans are done. 
Mm. Looks really good. We've already started serving. We almost forgot to film the end of the video because we're all so anxious to eat. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they turned out really good, it looks like. I'm going to go eat. Thanks for watching. Yeah, it looks cool because you got a tent behind you. Got this killer view. So, yeah. I like your beer in the bag. <laughs> yeah. Should I take it out? No. Nah. No. Nah. So we'll get this all put together in the pot and get it going and I'll show you how the uh, how we're gonna cook it. Okay, we're gonna get the rest of our meat browned up, get everything together in a pot, and we're gonna show you how to how to